Hi friends, in this video, let's take a look at one of the advanced rack topics, small to big retrieval to improve your rack system performance, because we all know that rack is not perfect. It faces lots of challenges when it comes to effectively retrieve relevant information and generate high quality responses. So in basic rack pipelines, we embed a big text chunk for retrieval and use this exact same text chunk for synthesis. But this might not be the best practice to embed and retrieve big text chunks. There might be a lot of filler text in a big text chunk that hides the relevant information, leading to worse retrieval. We can use smaller text chunks to enhance the accuracy of retrieval while using larger text chunks to offer more context information for the large language model. So that's the gist of the small to big retrieval. There are two primary techniques. First is smaller child chunks referencing to bigger parent chunks, where we fetch a smaller chunks during retrieval first, then reference the parent IDs and return the bigger chunks. Second is sentence window retrieval, where we fetch a single sentence during retrieval and return a window of text around the sentence. So next up, I'm going to walk through the basic reg and the implementations of these two methods in Llama Index. Okay, so let's take a look at this notebook together. First, we need to install needed packages as usual. This will probably take a minute. Then you need to make sure to type your own OpenAI API here. You can also use local models or other models you prefer. Here we're using OpenAI models that's why you need OpenAI API. But if you're using local models, you don't need this. And in this example, we want to ask questions about this Llama 2 paper. So we download this paper into Llama2.pdf file. Before we get into the small to big retrieval, let's review some basic reg code first. So in a basic reg pipeline, step one is to load the document. We use a PDF reader to load the Llama 2 PDF file we just downloaded. Right now, each page is the document object. Let's combine each page of the document into one document object. Step two is to parse this document into text chunks, which are called nodes in Llama Index. We define the chunk size as 1024. Here you can see the details of this node parser, including chunk size and other information. Let's take a look at the first node. You can see the default node IDs are random text strings. Let's format our node ID to some meaningful numbers here. So we, we run this for loop to reformat our node ID. Now you can see the node ID of the first node is node 0, and the last node is node-79. So we have 80 uh, text chunks. Step 3 is to select the embedding model and the LLM. Here we are loading this BGE model from Hugging Face as our embedding model, and we use GPT 3.5 Turbo as our LLM. We can bundle these two models together in the service context and use them later in the indexing and querying steps. Step four is to create index, retriever, and query engine. This vector store index takes the text chunks or nodes and then create vector embeddings of every text chunk. Retriever is used for fetching and retrieving relevant information given a user query. So here in this example, we retrieve two relevant text chunks whose embeddings are the most similar to the user query embedding. So it's basically a similarity search. And then we build a query engine on top of the index and retriever to provide a generic interface to ask questions about your data. And then you can ask this question and it will give, it, give us an answer. So that's the basic overview of how to do reg in Llama Index. As you can see, it's very straightforward. Now let's talk about the first small to big retrieval method to use smaller child chunks referring to the bigger parent chunks. So previously we used a fixed chunk size of 1024 for both retrieval and synthesis. Now we can explore how to use smaller text chunks for retrieval and refer to bigger text chunks for synthesis. 
the first step is to create smaller child chunks. In this code, for each of the text chunks with the original chunk size 1024, we create even smaller text chunks with the size 128, 256, and 512. Essentially, for each of those text chunks, we're creating eight text chunks of the size 128, four text chunks of size 256, and two text chunks of size 512. And then finally, we append the original text chunk of the original size 1024 to the list of these text chunks. When we take a look at all the text chunks, all nodes dict here, we can see that many smaller chunks are associated with each of the original text chunks. For example, node 0. So for example, this text chunk has its own node ID, which is random string, and you can see it's related to node 0. And you can see the text here is actually really short, and its index ID is also the parent chunk node 0. So now we have a bunch of smaller child chunks here, all with the index ID node 0. And the last chunk associated with node 0 is the parent chunk itself. So I hope you can see here, so it's basically a bunch of child chunks and the parent chunk in the end. OK, now let's create vector embeddings for all the child and parent text chunks. For the retriever, the key here is to use a recursive retriever to actually retrieve the parent chunk of the child chunk. So um, in this example, when we ask a question and when we retrieve the most relevant text chunks, instead of fetching the actual child text chunk where the similarity search finds, it actually looks up the index ID of the child chunk and fetch the parent chunks directly. And now with the same steps as we have seen before, we can create a query engine as the generic interface to ask questions. And here you can see it's actually retrieving two parent chunks instead of the child chunks. And the parent chunks actually get passed into the larger language model to generate response. And then we can compare and evaluate our base retriever with the new chunk reference retriever. And we can see here the small to big chunk reference retriever method seems to perform better. OK, so that's the first method. I hope it's clear. The second small to big retrieval method is called sentence window retriever. With this method, we can parse the documents into single sentence per chunk. So in this case, sen single sentences will be similar to the child chunk concept, and the sentence window will be similar to the parent chunk concept we mentioned in the first method. OK, so in the code, we need to create a sentence window node parser. Uh, we need to define the window size. That's basically how many sentences before and after the original sentence we want in the sentence window. And then we parse the document with the sentence window node parser. We create embeddings and index and when we create the query engine, we can replace the sentence with the sentence window using this metadata replacement post processor method so that the sentence window gets sent to the large language model instead of the sentence. Then we can ask questions using this query engine. And you can see it was able to return a pretty good response for this question. And here just to check, you can see the actual sentence retrieved and the window of the sentence which provides a lot more context and details. OK, so that's it for this video on small to big retrieval methods. I hope you find it helpful and see you next time. Bye.